Today on Malaysian Chinese Kitchen, I am going to show you how to steam rice using a steamer. This method produces one of the fluffiest rice and there is no messy spillover on the stove. As I have previously discussed in my tutorial on how to cook rice on the stove top, one serving of cooked rice is about one and a half US cups and for that you need only half cup of raw long grain rice. The Chinese regular size rice bowl holds roughly one and a half US cups of cooked rice when packed to the top and that is how rice is usually served. Some can eat up to two US cups of cooked rice per meal. There is a size of bowl for two US cups of rice as you can see here. The inner diameter of this regular size bowl is four and a quarter inches while the inner diameter of this larger rice bowl is four and three quarter inches. That said, let's get started. I have two rice bowls here. On the left is the regular size bowl that can hold one and a half US cups of cooked rice. On the right is the larger bowl that can hold two US cups of cooked rice. First, we will need to wash the rice. I like to wash and drain it for three to four times. Then, fill the bowl with water and allow the rice to soak for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, discard the soaking water. Add the measured amount of water needed at a ratio of 1 is to 1.25. The water level will come right up to the top of each of the bowls. Place bowls in a steaming rack. Prepare a steamer with boiling water over medium-high heat. Transfer the steaming rack onto the prepared steamer. Cover and steam for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, turn off stove and allow the cooked rice to sit in a steamer for 5 minutes. After the 5 minutes, remove the steam rice from the steamer. Serve the perfectly fluffy steam rice immediately. This method is perfect for a single serving of steam rice in a small steamer. Do give it a try. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If so, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon here on Malaysian Chinese Kitchen. Bye.